also promised to listen to the legitimate concerns that exist in our communities, concerns like those around cording and street checks. We have heard these come up time and time again from community groups and representatives of vulnerable populations. In theory, these practices are a useful tool through which police may gather intelligence on criminal activity and engage with the public. But in practice, we have heard they are often misused and arbitrarily target racialized and minority communities. And so I am proud to announce that Alberta's government is banning the police practice of coding immediately and creating new rules on the use of street checks. And I am especially happy to be doing this today, just over four years after a fantastic MLA from Calgary West, Mike Ellis, raised this matter in question period to then NDP Justice Minister Kathleen Ganley. You cannot arbitrarily detain someone and you certainly cannot arbitrarily detain someone based on the color of their skin, on their, uh, their culture, or on their socioeconomic status. And um, I was met with resistance. I was met re with resistance by the previous government. There were certain police services in this province that uh, resisted uh, my calls to action on this issue as well. But uh, I, uh, I remain vigilant. I would like to personally thank Premier Kenny as well. Um, I've been advocating for this. I wanted to make sure that this was an important issue, that it was a priority of this government. And I'm very proud that uh, my friend, uh, the Honourable uh, Minister Casey Madu, has uh, brought this uh, to the forefront. And I am uh, absolutely uh, ecstatic. And I hope that. Um, uh, that we become role models, uh, not just in, in Alberta, but we become role models throughout Canada, if not North America on this issue. For First Nation people, discrimination and mistreatment at the hands of law enforcement is commonplace. We are sick of being told that systemic racism does not exist. We are sick of hearing about our grandfathers being forcefully tackled and taken to the ground over expired license plates. We are sick of hearing about missing, murdered, Indigenous women cases being mishandled and ignored by police. We are sick of wondering if our children will be the next Neil Stonechild or Chantel Moore. Reconciliation and policing is achievable. We appreciate that the province has acknowledged that street check, uh, the process itself is important and that it has value in the context of crime prevention and community safety and well-being because we know how important those things are to Calgarians and Albertans generally. At the same time, we certainly would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge that communities have expressed very legitimate concerns about really how street checks get done and the perceptions that can be left and have been, been left with uh, racialized uh, communities in cases where, you know, the interactions maybe haven't been done in a way that uh, was as respectful or professional as we may have, we may have hoped. We welcome the guidelines and, and I believe that they're going to be really helpful uh, to in, in ensuring that there is a, um, a uh, I guess, a, a good strong understanding of, uh, of, first of all, what they are and what they're not, uh, what carding is and what carding's not, and then also helping to uh, achieve consistency across the various police agencies. So Albertans, when they move uh, around as they do from community to community, can expect uh, the same sorts of things.